let's talk about unions. Okay, we're gonna move away from this. I think this was a good opportunity to to cover. Let's talk about let's talk about unions, baby. Day two, Rutgers, DKE, Delta Kappa Epsilon remain stoked about the strike and has hung our union sign on the frat entrance. Even Rutgers frat himbos are progressive now. The GOP has really lost a generation. Were you DKE? No, I was not. Now, I don't even know if my fraternity exists still at Rutgers. I think they like kind of rip through all of the fraternities at Rutgers, just as they did in every other school that doesn't have like a super long legacy of fraternities. And by that, I mean like straight up clan uh, involvement, like in the South. But um, yes, the, G the, 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 the uh, frat bros are rising up. Now, where is the, uh, where is the story? Let's get to it. Uh, academics, not DJ academics, but academics are rising up this time at Rutgers University. But of course, remember, they are technically supposed to be uh, not working class. They are technically supposed to be, because, you know, the, the faculty members are, are woke and gay and, and the faculty and staff striking is actually woke and gay. Therefore, not working class. The working class is not woke and gay. Anyway, Rutgers University faculty members are striking, halting classes and research. The walkout is the first in the public university's 257-year history and follows nearly a year of bargaining. That's right. For those of you who don't know, Rutgers University literally is older than the nation. Fun fact, uh, Rutgers University was once... Uh, brought into the Ivies, which they declined because they wanted to maintain their public status. Anyway, uh, three unions representing an estimated 9,000 full and part-time faculty members at Rutgers University went on strike on Monday for the first time in the school's 257-year history, bringing classes and research at New Jersey's flagship public university to a halt. This strike, which will affect... Uh, which will affect roughly 67,000 students across the state comes after nearly a year of unsuccessful bargaining between union representatives and the university officials. The union said on Sunday that the two sides remain far apart on several issues, including a pay increase and the rights of untenured adjunct faculty members and graduate workers. If you know anything about uh, adjunct faculty members and graduate students who are working at the university, you would know that they work for literally nothing, okay? It is, a, it is basically, they're slaves. They are like the NCAA athlete version of academia. Uh, they do all the research, they teach the classes, and they get paid for literally nothing. Sometimes they don't even get housing. Hopefully, sometimes they get housing, and that's pretty much it, or they get paid pennies on the dollar. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, see, there you go. Grass News get paid like 20K a year here in UW in Seattle in an insanely high-cost living city. It's disgusting. It is fucking ridiculous. We intend for this new contract to be transformative, especially for our lowest paid and most vulnerable members. Rebecca Givon, the president of one of the unions, Rutgers AAUPAFT, which represents full-time faculty members and graduate workers, postdoctoral associates and counselors, said in a statement. Ms. Gavon said union proposals that included a significant raise in the promise of job security for adjunct professors were exactly the ones that the administration has resisted the most. As workers form picket lines at Rutgers' three main campuses in New Brunswick, Newark, and Camden, the representatives from the university and the unions met in Trenton, the state capital, where Governor Phil Murphy had invited them to negotiate. This is actually big for Governor Phil Murphy, who has, I think, um, presented himself as a relatively progressive governor. And New Jersey is more progressive than you would think it is. Uh, or you, most people, understandably, never really talk about New Jersey because, you know, why would you? But, you know, it's a, it's a unique place. It's a unique place that has, you know, it's just, I don't want to say too many nice things about New Jersey, okay? 
I the that's it. That's the most. Just it's painful. It's painful and hard for me to to say nice things about New Jersey because it sucks. But they do some good things. Okay, they do some good things. Uh, that's it. Okay, that's the most I'm going to say. Miskiff is from New Jersey. That's all you need to know about the state. Okay, we feel hopeful about bar- <laughs> we feel hopeful about bargaining productively, and we appreciate the governor's support. Ms. Gavon said in an interview, we are committed to getting it done and necessary, and if necessary, we are definitely prepared to stay here until we get it done. Dory Devlin, a spokesman for the university, expressed similar optimism. She said Rutgers appreciated the governor's leadership and that they were hopeful that we can quickly come to a resolution of the remaining outstanding issues. The university said on Sunday that it did not expect the strike to interfere with academics. The spring semester ends early next month. Notwithstanding the action by union leadership, the university is committed to ensuring that our more than 67,000 students are unaffected by the strike and may continue their academic progress, the school said in a statement. Our students' ability to complete their coursework and earn their degrees is the university's highest priority, it added. Every effort will be made to ensure that the strike does not affect our students' progress towards graduation. More than 100 faculty members and students gathered to picket on a street corner outside the university's main campus in New Brunswick on Monday. Michelle Ling, 24, a graduate student in women, gender and sexuality studies, spoke in defense of the graduate workers and adjunct f- uh, faculty who said, who she said both hold this university up. Ms. Ling, who earns $30,000 per year teaching at Rutgers on a nine-month contract, said many graduate students who work for the school are forced to juggle multiple jobs or go on public assistance to make ends meet. A lot of the grads that I know here are on food stamps, said Ms. Ling. A lot of grads I know have secret part-time jobs. They don't report to the university because they have to. They have families. They have responsibilities. Yeah. Abelia Hernandez, 48, a professor at the Graduate School of Education, said because she has tenure, she had the luxury of being out here without the fear of retaliation. There are different levels of respect and status at the university, and adjunct professors are not getting the status that they deserve, she said. Now... The other side of this, and I talk about this all the time, this is uh, something that I know I have a personal experience with through family members and whatnot. A big part of the reason why PhDs love fucking yelling at you if you don't call them a doctor about being called a doctor is because they have nothing else. The entire world of academia is riddled with nepotism. It's riddled with like, uh, you know, status and egos and narcissistic self-entitled liberals who love smelling the uh, sense of their own farts. Okay. And the only thing they have at the tippy top are uh, the fact that they have a PhD and they can sit through your dissertation and shit on you. Okay. So, For that reason, all of the up-and-coming graduate students have to literally sit there and eat all of that shit that is being shoveled down their fucking throats. So when they inevitably get to a point where they finally get their degree, that's all they have. They don't get paid for it. They don't even get paid after it. So all they got is the research that they made, the research that that they participated in, and their fucking title. That is why... They get mad when people, you know, don't call them doctor when they have a PhD. So that's it. They literally spend countless hours on research. It's their lives work. And then they don't have $5 to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Then that research gets sold. That research is published in academic journals, and then the academic journals make money, and the college campus makes money, but they don't see a dime of that too. So there's also that reality. Now you're just sitting with a fuckload more debt, and, and you know, you, your shit, if you're lucky enough, got published, and someone else is making money off of it. 
So yeah, it's very fucked up. There are uh, different levels of respect and status at the university and adjunct professors are not getting the status they deserve. There are less tenure track positions. They are taking more and more of the teaching work and they need to be compensated for that. Fanboy Edge Prop, thank you for the 10 gift subs, allowing 10 people to no longer see the top of the hour. Ad break, especially 10 uh, PhDs, I hope, 10 graduate students or adjunct professors that don't have $5 to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Here's the three-minute ad break now. The strike was called after 94% of union members voted in favor of it earlier this year, union officials said. But the university has said that it expects all union members to continue working and that it believes a strike by public sector workers is illegal in New Jersey. <laughs> nice. The university may go to court to maintain university operations and protect our students, patients, and staff from disruptions to their education, clinical care, and workplace. The school said in a statement, the university may seek an injunction in court to compel a return to normal activities. What are you going to do? Fucking, you know, force them at gunpoint? Oh my God, they're going to force them at gunpoint. I hate this. Nine, three, four out of ten. God damn. Everybody said ten, ten. Deserved it. You're right. <laughs> the massacre at Rutgers Hill. The unions argue that there's no law barring their strike. They call the university's position delusional or mendacious. You know, bro, this is how you know. This is an academic. This is, this is a union filled with academics. Look at this. Mendacious? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> she said mendacious, dude. I don't even know what that means, okay? The strike quickly gained national attention with state and federal lawmakers expressing their support. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont said on Twitter, These workers deserve a good contract with fair pay and benefits now. Representative Frank Pallone Jr., Democrat who represents the congressional district that includes Rutgers, said at a rally of roughly 300 people on a campus quad on Monday that graduate students and adjunct faculty members cannot be left behind. The administration calls me all the time to try to get more grants and funding for more research, he said. But I always say, if that's going to be the case, we need to make sure that the graduate students who are doing the research, teaching the classes, they have a fair wage too. Ethan Block, a junior at Rutgers who was majoring in political science, said he did not go to class on Monday as an act of solidarity with the striking faculty members. His course is taught by a guest lecturer who is not in the union. <laughs> okay, bro, we know why you didn't go to class, okay? You don't have to fucking act like you did it with, uh, out of solidarity. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. Okay. I feel like the faculty unions have been treated unfairly, frankly, by the administration, said Mr. Block. He said he did not plan to attend class on Tuesday either. Okay. We as a student body have a sort of duty to support the faculty members that are going on strike, he said. If they get what they want, then my education will be better, and the educations of every student at Rutgers will be better. That's right. That's true. What kind of bozo majors in poli sci at Rutgers? I agree. Who the fuck would do that? Lame. <laughs> Fucking so, so dumb, dude. Big L. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on. Anyway, solidarity with the striking workers. Hopefully that it, they, they get what they deserve, which is fair, equitable, better wages. Um, Poli side degree is a coloring book degree, and you know this. Yeah, I love this. Honestly. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. Should other workers, i.e. overwork bus drivers, custodians, dining hall workers get in on this? Um, certainly. I don't know what the, uh, I don't actually know what the, uh, the, the, the staff, uh, unionization looks like. 
Brats being woke now is really going to piss my uncle off. Unions are not woke. They do not have to be woke. Anyway, here is the Rutgers AAUPAFT, American Association of University Professors and American Federation of Teachers, the part of the AFL-CIO, strike fund. I'm a freshie here. I asked a dining hall worker the other day. They are a different union contract, and the buses are a contracted non-union company. Here is the strike fund, solidarity fund. There you go. Um. Okay. What's this, huh? I don't know what that is. What are you showing? What the fuck is this? I don't know what that is. Shut up. Why are you showing that? Dick. Fake news, dude. I didn't even read it. I don't know how to read. Shut the fuck up. I didn't go to college, so... Oh, um, 